Do you feel as if you're cheating on your meal plan or doing something wrong when you eat an actual carb or fat gram or something that just tastes good? You may be cheating on yourself. Food ought to be one of the pleasures of life, not a battleground. I find that lots of people focus on their relationship to food instead of their connections with other people. If you get invited out to dinner, is your first thought, oh, I'm so happy, I get to see so-and-so? Or is it, oh no, what am I gonna eat? People can be unpredictable, unreliable, and unavailable. Unlike people, food is available, consistent, and absolutely reliable. You have access to it when you want, and it's always the same. Chocolate ice cream has never tasted like sardines. If you're focusing on your weight, food, and appearance at the expense of your relationships with people, you may find yourself withdrawing emotionally and socially from others, either because you feel self-conscious or because you don't feel comfortable around other people for whatever reason. Maybe you avoid social events fearing there will be no safe food or that you'll eat too much or fearing you'll be judged for how you look, or the chairs won't be big enough, or they'll break, or something. Ask yourself if you are hungry for love, attention, connection, and or fulfillment, but you're turning to food as a substitute for those things. If you're cheating on your diet, maybe you need the sweetness of connection. Here's what to do next. Create an appetite for life. I'm gonna tell you a few things to do that you can experience this week. Laugh with a friend, tell a joke or a funny story, give a compliment, make someone smile, sing your heart out in the car without caring what other drivers think. They will never see you anyway, and if you do see them, who cares? Read a child a story, call a friend and catch up, smile at a stranger. Enjoying fulfilling experiences with people makes you less likely to use food for fulfillment literally and figuratively or to focus on your weight as a measure of your value. When you taste all that life has to offer, you will be satisfied and happy. You won't need food for that purpose. And that's how you win the diet war. I'm Dr. Nina Savelle Rockland, psychoanalyst and food weight and body image specialist. I'm here to help you kick the diet habit for good. Please leave a comment or a question, either on iTunes or YouTube, depending on whether you're listening or watching. And if you want even more support from me, sign up for my free three-day challenge to crack the code of emotional eating. It's at winthedietwar.com. I'll see you there.